Psychological safety and remote work. How can we create psychological safety when our employees are working remotely? In this video, you are going to learn three ideas which you can implement at work. The first idea is about inclusion, how to include team members when we do brainstorming sessions. The second idea is about weekly check-ins and emotions. And the third idea is about new employees. How can we include them and improve psychological safety? Let's start with the first idea, including team members when we do brainstorming sessions virtually. Recently, I've done a virtual brainstorming session with team members from one of the world's biggest car manufacturers. We had certain rules in this online brainstorming. First rule, no talking. They had a given amount of time and they need to write their ideas without talking. So we used an online collaborative tool called Padlet, P-A-D-L-E-T, and team members were writing their ideas. This allowed all team members to express their ideas. Normally what happens in Brainstorming sessions is that few people dominate the conversation and some people maybe cannot express their views. Having a brainstorming session without talking, at least to generate the ideas, it's a great way to include each and every team member. And this also contributes to creating psychological safety in the team session. The second idea is about weekly check-ins and emotions. We as leaders, managers, we can have our weekly one-on-ones with our team members to talk about what's going well, what are the blockers that employees face, and how we as leaders, managers can help the employees. In these sessions, it's important that we need to have them weekly to see what's going on, how employees are progressing. And secondly, in these meetings, we can ask our employees, how are you feeling? Throughout the day, it's normal that we can feel frustrated, we can feel overwhelmed, we can feel stressed, we can feel joyful, happy, or excited. By asking these questions, we create a space where our employees feel free to express how they feel. The idea here is not to get stuck in negative emotions, but find constructive ways to deal with them. The third idea is about new team members. Let's imagine new members are joining our team and we would like to create a psychologically safe place for them. We can start that before the team members join the team, so we can assign a buddy. A buddy is a person who is already working in the team, so the buddy contacts the new employee before the new employee starts working, and the new employee asks their questions to the buddy about the workplace, about the culture. So we start including the new team member even before they start working in the company. And once they start working, we present the new employee to our team members and to different teams as well. We can make sure that the new team member can have lunch, even virtual lunches with other team members and other employees. And lastly, we need to create opportunities so that team members, both new and old, have a chance to get to know one another at a personal level. The more that they can get to know each other at a personal level, the better to create trust and psychological safety. So the idea number one is inclusion. So have silent brainstorming sessions, limited time, let's say 10 minutes. The question is, what does an ideal collaboration look like in our team? Everyone writes their ideas virtually, no talking. This way, everyone has a chance to express their ideas and concerns. The second point is about weekly check-ins and emotions. We can ask, how do you feel? The idea here is not to get stuck in negative emotions express them and find constructive ways to deal with it. And the third one, in case we're new employees joining the team, make sure to create spaces, activities, opportunities so that employees can get to know one another at a personal level. Yes, creating psychological safety is possible in virtual remote teams and we can achieve this.